know the extent of damage caused by the 1897 cyclone that also leveled many buildings. Investment and Prosperity By the late 1890s up to 1897, a gold rush in the interior and the growing cattle industry led to great prosperity in the Darwin area. Sadly, this was the decline. Now, political, instab uh, political instability in Asia led to the migration of many Greeks. Some worked in the building industry, others on the railway. By uh, 1918, there were over 200 uh, Greek settlers living in Greek town. An early Greek Orthodox church constructed by the Greek community in Darwin. Greek migrants. Sponge fishermen also migrated from Greece and settled in Darwin. Many came from the Greek islands. Not sure how to say it. Can I not point it out here? Uh, because of the close connection between Darwin and this Greek island, the people of the island donated a statue to Darwin. Uh, and. Um, set up a sister city status. This statue, situated along with the bronze plaque, is called the Great Pot of Water, symbolizes the hard work of a Greek mother in supporting her family. It was erected in Darwin in 1985. The North Australian Railway development was a critical part of the development of the city. Commenced originally to join Adelaide and Darwin, this didn't occur until just recently, but it did succeed in reaching the gold fields of Pine Creek and servicing the local cattle industry. The railway served a critical part in the Second World War in transporting military supplies to Darwin was defense against the Japanese. It's eventually unprofitable and shot in 1976. The 19th of February 1942 could be a day that lives in infamy for people in Darwin, with the dropping of more bombs on Darwin by a Japanese invasion force that was dropped on Pearl Harbor. Sections of the city were leveled by the use of such things as incendiary bombs. First, the many Jap uh, Viennese boat people arrived in Darwin in April 1975. They traveled 3,500 kilometers from communist Vietnam. The voyage was typical of the experience of more than 2,000 Vietnamese boat people who arrived in Darwin in the next 10 years. Most were allowed to remain in Australia. Some chose to remain in Darwin. There were also substantial numbers of East Timorese refugees. Refugees uh, fled the uh, fighting for independence, and many sailed to Darwin make new homes there. Timorese refugees, because of the problems of the withdrawal of Portugal, 
from the colony in 1975 and the invasion by um, Indonesia and subsequent fighting. These are some, but by no means all, the bronze plaques that are embedded in the pavement in the main shopping mall of Central Darwin. It provides a succinct and useful overview of some of the main themes of Northern Territory history. Thanks, dear viewer, for joining me on this review. Pictures are from Pictures Australia on the web which include the um, Australian Military Museum and the Northern Territory uh, Museum. Have a good day.